While the Super Bowl is taking place, Gavin Newsom networks in Vegas as oh, Biden dude. faces calls to quit. So what is Newsom doing networking in Vegas? I don't know what he's doing. What would he be doing? I mean, is there a job that maybe he could have here soon? The governor, amid speculation about a presidential bid, was a surprise guest at Fanatics billionaire Michael Rubin's luncheon in Las Vegas, where he mingled with notable figures and enjoyed upscale dining with one source stating he friends, his friends with Michael. He should be here at some point. Newsom's presence in Las Vegas coincides with mounting concerns about President Biden's age and fit, uh, fitness for office, prompted speculation that Newsom could emerge as a strong contender for the Democratic nomination if Biden chooses not to run, with the article noting if Biden chooses not to run in November election, Newsom is seen as a strong possible contender for Democrat nomination. Anyways, while all this stuff is going on with uh, Oakland, he's over there at the game. Rob, can you play the clip? of Newsom defending Biden. I don't know if you have it or not. If you do, there's a clip. Is this the one? Go ahead and play this clip. Same interview, by the way, coincidence, but go ahead. Mine would want to run uh, when you have someone of such esteem as our incumbent president okay. of the United States with a record of accomplishments and a man of character, <laughs> a man of decency. I'm Good old hair. school. Talk about loyalty. I'll, I'll go to ends of the earth for this guy. I really would. Loyal, decency. Look, you somebody give this man an Oscar. Do you think he actually exactly. believes this the is, words that are coming so, out of his mouth? What are the chances he actually he, believes he, that he is in his the, heart? He is the epitome of just a lying politician snake. And like, do, he, I, I don't know, I think he believes everything because he's such a psychotic man. Like, oh, what are you he's talking? A, you got to realize, though, I mean, look, he's, some people think he's a winner. <laughs> he's a winner. He's, you know, he's so I mean, he's, he's Tom, what, do, what do you think he's doing? Tom, do you think he's out there actually raising money, talking to people sociopath. about 2024? You think he's just kind of being available so everybody can see his face? Well, is he? Well, I'm going to break that down. First of all, I agree with you. It's best supporting actor in a deceptive role. So it's <laughs> what's, what's going on here. I yeah. completely yeah. agree. Yeah. He's crushing it. it. Reading from the script. Number one. Number two. He is doing a lot of what Nikki Haley is doing right now. There's a lot of 2028 going on here. There's a lot of 2028 going on. You mean on. 2024? No, 2028. There's a is he is he pushing a run in 2028? 100%. Is he also positioning him for right here right now? Yes, he is. But inside the DNC, inside there was criticism that he and his engine, he built his own engine, he built his own team, he built this exploratory committee, he built all that together and he went out and he got a little bit ahead of the game and they pulled him back. Remember, he went quiet for 60 days. Why was that? And then he goes over to China. Hey, I'm over a Xi and he's complimenting um, uh, the, he says, I'll buy two of these Chinese electric cars and send them back to California for me rather than Tesla. He goes off and does that. Then he gets quiet for a minute. He is desperately putting himself out there to be the alternative choice this year if that's needed. And the DNC keeps pulling him back a little bit easy does it and so that's why he goes in front of the microphone here and he overplays that anybody with eyes to see and a, and 10 cents of, of logic can look at it and say this guy doesn't believe this he's just he's he's doing an infomercial and a compelling uh a statement to go out there to seem like a team player that's what's going on but he is on one team and that is team gavin and that's all he wants to do position himself possible replacement 24 he absolutely is, is hungry for that and there's a hell of a lot of placement going on for 28 meanwhile oakland is burning and descending into chaos and he can talk about california being the sixth largest economy in the world and i love when he says that because i say you can't even run that and you want to run the united states of america give me a break dude adam uh, look he's as skilled and as <laughs> snaky as a politician <laughs> as it gets i mean you got to you know, you got to give him credit for playing the role that he's playing. He is towing the company line the way that he looked in the... He is as, as honorable and as decent as a man as it gets angrily. Oh. So he's playing his role. He's He knows that... Look, I, these odds right here that we're showing on screen right now, Michelle Obama, <clears throat> I would put Gavin way ahead of Michelle Obama because he's aspirationally showing up to every single interview. He's putting himself out there. He's networking... We've heard nothing but random rumors about Michelle Obama. She's given nothing to indicate that she's running. But you're a Vegas he odds be, guy. Look at that, though. I, I know. I mean, even I, Nikki. By the way, he's going to jump in front of Nikki Haley very, very soon. He's going to well, jump. When she, jumps, a couple when months, she drops yeah. out. Of, but he's, he's showing the one thing 
that Ron DeSantis did not show to Trump, which is loyalty. He even used the word loyalty yep. intentionally. Yeah, and we talked about that a few months ago when I said that the position he's putting in, edifying Biden left and right nonstop to, to pin DeSantis as disloyal, but he's not worried about DeSantis anymore because yeah. it's him against whoever else. But, Welcome uh, back to Florida, uh, <clears throat> Governor Ron DeSantis. Some of you guys have been asking about PBD Podcast gear. We finally have it. Here's your PBD Podcast gear you were asking about. That mug, if you order today the PBD Podcast hat or the PBD Podcast shirt combined together, you get the mug for free on the house. We'll send it over to you. And remember, if, shipping, if uh, supply you order over $70, shipping is free. And this mug you see me holding right now, when you put a hot coffee or hot tea or hot water in it, it turns into the PBD podcast colors mm. that we got. So if you're at the office working, if you want to go brag about the fact that you listen to content and you can entertain opposing ideas and see you could spark a conversation with others, go get yourself the hat, the shirt, and we'll send a mug over to you. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.